Yo, you guys have got to check this out, man. This dude just six-packed with some absolutely ridiculous baby dragon attacks, man. Mad props for pulling a six-pack with an insane, a couple of different insane attack strategies, all right? They're both mass baby dragons, but they're also very different, so make sure to hang in there for the second one as well. First of all, man, he's gonna zap that multi-target inferno compartment along with an air defense up there and a couple other defenses that were not as important, but still in the way, so might as well get the value with the same spells now he's still got four quakes in this spell composition he's going to be opening up the walls to send the queen in with her five healers ten bowlers and the king trying to just take out the core of this base now look at this side up here man we got no air defenses up here and we got the eagle artillery so you can get some really good value up there with that stone slammer with no air defenses to slow the stone slammer down and get it popped it's going to be able to go and go and go and hopefully with the right pathing even go in there to get the eagle artillery as long as his bowlers don't get it first he has opened up enough of the base where bowlers could reach it if they end up pathing there all right Queen gets stuck on the clan castle troops out there, but luckily the healers follow the core group in the base, keeping those bowlers alive a little bit longer. Now, they are pretty much dead. Uh, blown funnel on the left there. Well, he had an E-Dragon, man. He had a decent enough funnel to get most of his troops in the core, but he lost his Grand Warden and a few bowlers out on that side, man. So that is a tough break. You want that Grand Warden to stick with the bowlers and the king inside the core of the base. Now, he's still got his healers. Still got his king doing stuff. He's still got a queen in there as well. Stone Slammer, sure enough, man. Pathed right in there. Gonna continue getting some really good value. Now, he's trickling in those baby dragons. You gotta get those remaining air defenses taken out stone slammer is going to be taking out the one on the top brilliant baby dragon pathing got that one taken out on the bottom now he's got no air defenses left in this base clan castle loons are coming out trying to take down this multi-target inferno that's going to be a big deal that multi could target a number of baby dragons at the same time so getting it out was essential now we still got a, a king charge a freaking king charge on the board but our queen is behind the king so she's still got full health even though the healers are on him she's doing just fine we got a couple babies up on the top right and baby dragon left with only three defenses left in this base you don't want to start them up here man those storages have really high hit points and they're guarding those teslas so he waits to drop that last one until the teslas are being tanked now we got three baby dragons two heroes in to finish off this absolutely insane triple now for the second of his six pack this one annihilates this base man he has so many troops left over it's left alive at the end of the attack it absolutely blew me away but the make of the hands is not the only one that pulled off six pack in this wars with some absolutely insane army compositions my buddy jim bob did it as well with a completely different attack strategy but also freaking insane pulled off a six pack so we're going to be showing that right after this attack as well now he's got an old school golem plus two ice golems a ton of party wizards along with all three heroes man he wants to get some good value with this push now look at the lightning spells and the earthquakes he's got eight lightnings two quakes if he cuts both those down the middle uses four lightnings and a quake he can get look the air defense and multi-target inferno compartments on both sides of the base now kill squad down on the bottom big fat kill squad got down the other remaining air defenses so he's gonna have a zero air defenses left in this base kill squad down here is also gonna take out most of the expos the eagle artillery the clan castle he drew it out with the single loon up here trying to expose anything that could target air troops the stuff in there that can't target air he doesn't really care about because the baby dragons and loons he's going to be using to finish this raid are not even going to draw out things like golems ice golems valkyries um hounds that sort of thing um so the air targeting stuff he already drew out and unless the queen steps in this range he's not going to have to deal with anything left over in there man no ad's man that means this stone slammer is going to have free reign over the top of this base he's just trickling those baby dragons in around the edges you got to keep them separated far enough that they get that raged up ability but man they can clean up so much trash and just random defenses look at this he's still got five baby dragons man the stone slammer's not even popping dude the stone slammer is still alive he's down to just four defenses remaining in this base man he could have swagged all those remaining baby dragons no problem because even if that stone slammer did pop it's still got max loons in there to finish off the remaining defenses guys this base just got crushed so hard by this mass baby dragon attack strategy.
Eugene. And we got Jim Bob coming in, taking out a six pack with this zapped Bowler Witch attack strategy. Once again, using four lightnings and a quake on either side to take out the multi-target Inferno, along with any other defenses close enough to it. Look at that, man. We got no Infernos left in this base. We got an Eagle on the backside. He's gonna be using a wall wrecker to get his troops through the base, man. He used up a bunch of spell space. You don't generally have space left over for things like jumps or quad quakes to work your way through. So you can throw in a super wall breaker or two if needed, if it's gonna work for your first couple level wall breaks. But if you got a wall wrecker, you really don't need that. Just don't drop it first thing, man. Don't drop it first. Cause if you drop it first, it's gonna be taking all the heat, all the damage. It's gonna die really soon and it's not gonna open up deep into the base. If you drop some tanking down for it first, it can generally get at least halfway through the base, opening up plenty of access. You had to get this wall open. If you don't get that wall open, you're not giving your ground troops access to that Eagle Artillery because Queen cannot reach it from outside this compartment. And with all that dead space, none of those ground troops were gonna try to beat that wall open there. So getting that wall wrecker in there all the way to that Eagle Artillery was absolutely essential. It opened up access for the King to go in there and get the assist on the kill. Now, what does he have in here, man? Oh my gosh, dude, I can't even tell. I can't even tell what he's got in there, but oh my God, dude, there were so many headhunters that just came out of that CC. The bowlers, the witches, and the king popping his ability along with the poison are gonna be able to get them down while the king still has some life, and him and his barbarians are still alive, still tanking for the queen on the backside of the base. We still got a golem alive. Dude, look at all the witches still alive on this flank, man. I'm counting five witches still alive, man. There's just not enough defenses left to stop this attack we still got a golem tanking the king is still alive tanking he's got a an army of barbarians combined with skellies dude look at that group look at that group man that group's not gonna be stopped for nothing oh my gosh dude this base got crushed so hard he does not even need to think about popping that queen ability man he could have he could have taken out another 10 defenses easy on this base and once again for jimmy bob's six pack now look at this comp man he dropped some bowlers and brought three super wall breakers man oh i love this move we're talking about using that wall wrecker to make your way through the base this time he's not going to need to do that he does have room for one jump spell remaining after zapping both those multi-target inferno towers so he's got a he does not have any rages or heals in this composition though all right instead of bringing a rage like he did on the last attack he decided to bring a jump spell but he's going to be using these wall super wall breakers to make it through these first layers of the base and because of that he can bring that siege barracks that's going to give him an extra free pekka and wizards to go into the core but it's also going to open up room for some back-end troops i'm guessing he's probably got hog riders in there but who knows man it's at the entry it's played early he might have some other troops in there sure enough we got hog riders coming through those hogs are going to be able to do some really good work because there's a ton of tanking going on right now by the core troops oh look at this he's jumping his queen further into the core but the pekka and the golem that would have been in front of her already walked around they're curving around so they are still doing some tanking oh my god that golem is taking the jump back into the base are you kidding me that was absolutely insane man I thought the golem and the packer were bouncing out on tank for the queen. The golem survives, takes the jump back into the base. Dude, that is ridiculous. Look at that, man. He's still got some hog riders alive out of that siege barracks, man. They can last a really long time when you have some other troops tanking for them. This flank right here still has so many witches alive. We got golemites out front. We got skellies and, and barbarians left over from the king popping his ability. Still tanking for those witches and a few remaining wizards from the siege barracks guys another base absolutely annihilated by this lightning bowler witch attack strategy jim bob's been crushing a ton of bases with it if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet click that button right over my shoulder if you're already a subscriber then check out that video on the other side of the screen and we'll keep hanging out